Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Foster Area Glass Pageant, our 26th annual. And before you settle in, I'd like to, if you please to rise for the national anthem, and it's going to be sung by our reigning queen, Erica Kaufman. Erica? Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave, or the Very nice. Okay, sit back, enjoy yourselves. I'm going to put you in the hands of our very capable MC, and we're lucky enough to have her back again. 13 ABC's anchor, Christina Williams. Christina. Thank you guys so much for being here. It's a pleasure to be back in Fostoria once again. Um, we have a great night planned for you. Lots of participation and of course I know this is a big moment for all the parents out there who might have little ones that are trying this out for the first time. So um, let's try to encourage everybody because of course this is something fun and a way to represent the city. So I see a lot of familiar faces and I'm once again happy to be back. So at this time, if everybody's ready, we're going to get started with the glass pageant. Our first category is the We Glass Princess category. Uh, these are our youngest contestants and we have multiple girls in this category this year. Um, all of these girls are younger in age and we want to get you started with our first contestant, number 100, Little Miss Paisley Taylor. Paisley is six years old and attends Longfellow School. Her favorite activities include riding her bike and she loves coloring. Paisley likes pizza rolls and she also enjoys Chinese food and her favorite color is pink. She must like Halloween because her favorite movie is Chucky and her favorite thing about Fostoria, the parks and all of the fishing spots. If she could be anyone in the world, she would be Uma from Descendants because she has long green hair and can swim for a very long time. Thanks, Paisley. Our next contestant, number 101, Maya Lee Vogel. Maya is four years old And her favorite activities, spinning, I'm guessing not the cycling version, the type that you spin around in the grass, uh, fishing, finding worms, of course, those things go hand in hand. And sweet little Maya loves to play outside. Maya Lee's favorite food is broccoli and her favorite colors, both blue and pink. Maya Lee's favorite movie is Mamma Mia. And she loves JB Twister's ice cream. It's just about that time of year. If she could be anyone in the world, she would be Shania, who is her twin, because she loves her sister. Yeah. 
Our next contestant in the Wii category is Kensington Cook, number 102. Kensington is four years old and attends Longfellow Elementary. In her spare time, you can find her playing with her siblings, shopping, and baking with her great-grandma. That's right. Everyone loves great-grandma's cooking. I know. Favorite food is spaghetti, and Kensington's favorite color is blue. She loves the movie Hotel Transylvania, and her favorite thing about Fostoria, the parks. If she could be anyone in the world, she might be representing her right now. She would be Belle from Beauty and the Beast because she is nice and beautiful in her very own words. Thanks, Kensington. Our next contestant is number 103 in the WE category, Emery Bentz. Emery is four years old and attends Longfellow Elementary. You can find this little one singing and dancing. Those are some of her favorite hobbies. Emery's favorite food, mac and cheese. And she loves the color blue. Her favorite movie or TV show is Super Monsters on Netflix. And her favorite thing about Fostoria, all of her friends. If she could be anyone in the world, it would be Captain Marvel, because in Emery's words, she is powerful and brave. Thank you, Emery. Our next contestant in the WE category is number 104, Shania Vogel. Shania is also four years old. Remember that whole twin thing we talked about? She attends GL or GLCAP, formerly WSOS. Shania loves to dance, fish, and uh-oh, pick on her sister. Her favorite food is broccoli. And her favorite color is pink. Her favorite movie, hmm, the same one as that sister she likes to pick on, Mamma Mia. Maybe they get along for those few hours. Her favorite thing about Faustoria, JV Twisters. And, oh, if she could be anyone in the world, it still would be Maya Lee, her twin, but just because. Thank you, Shania. Our next contestant in the Wee Princess category is number 105, Ariana Thomas. Ariana is five years old and attends Longfellow. Ariana loves to play with toys and her dollhouse. She loves coloring, watching movies, and cuddling with mom. Ariana loves hot dogs and mac and cheese, possibly together. Her favorite color is pink. And her favorite movies and TV shows, she has a few, Fancy Nancy, Peppa Pig, and The Muppet Babies. She loves Dairy Queen, and if she could be anyone in the world, it would be Aunt Frankie, because she is a teacher and helps people learn. Thank you, Ariana. Our next contestant in the Wee Princess category, meet Willa Ray Fry. Willa is four years old. Come on out, Willa. And she is homeschooled. Willa loves singing and dancing, coloring, makeup, playing dress up, gymnastics, and soccer. She's a busy little one. Her favorite food, mac and cheese. And her favorite color, you guessed it, pink. 
If Willa had to choose a favorite movie or TV show, she would choose Frozen, Trolls, or you might catch her watching Care Bears. She loves to play with her puppies at the dog park, and if she could be anyone in the world she wants to be herself, she says, just Willa. Thank you. Okay, so those are our contestants in the We Glass Princess category. If we have all of them, we'll bring them back out to the stage for judging. All of our tiniest contestants are escorted by last year's We Glass Princess, Madeline Claybaugh. And Madeline, did you have a fun year? Yeah. What was your favorite part about being uh, the wee princess? The parades. The parades? What was um, the best memory when you were in the parade? Did you get to ride in a car? Did you wave at people? What did you do? Waved at people. You waved at people? Okay. Well, sounds good. So you had a fun year? Yeah. Yeah? Great. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Can we give one more round of applause for Madeline? Okay, so these are all of our contestants. Parents, if you want to take any pictures, now is the time. And girls, if you could give one more wave to everybody out there. Great job. Oh, sorry, we're doing the chain. Okay, wave with your elbow. All right, well, girls, thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, all of our Wee Glass Princess contestants. Thank you, ladies. This might be my favorite part when they snake off. Okay, our next category is the Little Glass Princess. Okay, our first contestant is number 207, Bailey Vogel. Bailey is nine years old and attends Hopewell Loudoun. Her favorite activities and hobbies include taking care of animals, playing with her siblings, and dancing. Bailey's favorite food is chicken and her favorite color is blue. Her favorite TV show, Lip Sync Battle, Shorties. And her favorite thing about Faustoria, the parks. And if she could be anyone in the world, it would be that big bow wearing Jojo Siwa because she inspires her to be who she is without any care about what anyone else thinks. Thank you, Bailey. And our next and final contestant in the Little Glass Princess category is number 208, Carol Olmstead. Kara is 10 years old and it also attends Hopewell Loudon. What? Oh, you're nine? Oh, okay. Somebody rounded up. She's nine going on 10, folks. Sorry. She's a brownie in the Girl Scouts. She plays softball for school and also spends time running. Kara's favorite food is cheese pizza and she loves the color orange. If she could be anything, it would be a veterinarian because she loves animals. Thanks, Kara. Our next, oh, we actually want to bring out those girls. See, there's only two of them, so they have to come back out to the stage now, and they'll be escorted by last year's Little Glass Princess, Linity Harold. Hi, Linity. This is your big moment. Your final time is the Little Glass Princess. What was your favorite part of the year? The 4th of July Festival. And what did you do at that festival? Mm. Did you play games? Was there a parade? Were there fireworks by any chance? No. There were no fireworks. 
No? Okay. So if you had any advice for your friends over here about becoming princess, what would you tell them? That they should smile a lot. Okay, smile a lot. Got that? Okay, sounds good. Thank you so much, sweetie. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our little glass princess contestants. Thank you. Our next category, the Petite Glass Princess category, we have four contestants competing this year for that title. And we're going to start with number 309, Kaylee Davidson. Kaylee is 11 years old and attends Lakota. Kaylee takes part in gymnastics, dance, and loves to listen to music. Her favorite food is pizza. And her favorite color is teal. Favorite movies and TV shows, Sabrina and the Emperor's New Groove. And her favorite things about Fostoria, the parks, gymnastics, and her dance studio. And if she could be anyone in the world, it would be her mother, because she always sees the good in everything and everyone, and describes her as kind, caring, and helpful. Thank you, Kaylee. Our next contestant, number 310, Marisol Cooper. Marisol attends Fostoria Intermediate, and in her spare time, she likes to sing. She says, I might not be the best, but I like it. Also, Marisol loves dancing. She also loves to eat steak. It's her favorite food. And she loves the colors teal and blue. Her favorite TV show, Fuller House. And her favorite thing about Faustoria that most of her family lives here. And if she could be anyone in the world, it would be Taylor Swift because she loves her songs and used to have bangs like hers. So her teacher and her stepdad, Corey, apparently used to call her Tay Tay. Thank you, Marisol. Our next contestant, number 311, Avery Cardwell. Avery is 10 years old and attends Fostoria Intermediate. In her spare time, she takes part in cheer, basketball, and also spends time in the neighborhood riding her hoverboard. Her favorite food is spaghetti, and her favorite color, gold. Her favorite movie is Wonder, and her favorite things about Faustoria, the parks, and the farmer's market. Her older sister, Alicia, is the person that she looks up to. Thank you, Avery. And the next contestant and final one in the Petite Glass Princess category, number 312, Emma Ritter. Emma is 10 years old and attends Faustoria Intermediate. In her spare time, you can catch her hanging out with the Girl Scouts. She's involved with them, drawing, and taking care of her cat, Goose. Had to think twice about that one. Her favorite food is Chinese food, and she loves the color pink. Emma likes the throwback, the TV show Hey Arnold. And her favorite things about Faustoria, the Halloween parade. And if she could be anyone, Emma says she would be Melissa McCarthy because she's funny and makes people laugh a lot. And in Emma's opinion, makes some really good movies as well. Thank you, Emma. So at this time, we'll bring back out those Petite Glass Princess contestants. Escorted by the 2018 Petite Glass Princess. Alicia De La Rosa. Okay, so Alicia, you are a little bit older, and um, once we get past the younger categories, I'm sure that you have some great memories to share with us. What was your favorite thing about this past year? The 4th of July Festival. And why? 
Because I met a lot of people. You met a lot of people. And will you still go to that festival when you hand off the crown? Yes. And what would be your advice to the person who takes over your position? What should they know? What did you do every single time you went out to an event? Is there something that they should do? Smile big. Smile big. Okay, got it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Ladies, thank you. Our next category is the Glass Princess. Our first contestant is number 413, Belinda Burkett. Belinda attends Fostoria Junior Senior High School and she is 14 years old. Her favorite activities include engineering and just, you know, coding some new projects. No big deal. Her favorite food, salsa chicken. I bet that's mom's favorite too if you have a pressure cooker. Good choice. Favorite color, blue. And her favorite movie or TV show is Clue. Belinda loves sledding at Portage Park. And if she could be anyone, it would be Dr. Lauren Logan. Who's that, you ask? A civil engineer, because she encourages young women to work hard, believe in themselves, and know they can accomplish anything. Thank you, Belinda. Our next contestant in the Glass Princess category, number 414, Alicia Cardwell. Alicia is 15 years old and also attends Fostoria Junior Senior High School. In her spare time, she's a cheerleader and also a member of the softball team. Her favorite food, barbecue ribs. And Alicia's favorite color is purple. Her favorite movie and TV show is Instant Family. And her favorite thing about Fostoria, the community and all of the people who live here. If she could be anyone in the world, she would actually be her grandpa because he's been there since the day that she was born and supports her in everything that she does. Thank you, Alicia. We'll now bring back out the Glass Princess contestants escorted by this past year's Glass Princess, Dakota Mason. Okay, so Dakota, you guys are just one category below the queen. You are essentially in charge of all of the younger categories. So what advice would you give to either of these women who take over this role? Uh, I would just say, you know, be confident in who you are. Don't let anybody else, you know, change your opinion or about yourself or anything else. And had you ever done a pageant before this? Um, no, this was my first time. Okay, so what did you think? I was very nervous, I was, and then, you know, I came out here, and I did as best as I could, and then I won, so. Here we are. So what did you learn? Is there anything that you will take away from this year and go, wow, that really helped me, or I learned this during my time? Uh, yeah, I would say, like, I'm very more open about, you know, talking in public and seeing the, pe the people in the crowd and everything. I would say so. I remember you from last year, and uh, there's no shaking. There are no notes. See, you can do this. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it, Dakota. Thank you, ladies. And finally, tonight, we have our glass queen category. We have three contestants competing to be the Fostoria glass queen. Our first contestant is number 515, Courtney Yarbrough. Courtney is 17 years old and attends Hopewell Loudon. You can find her in the pool. She enjoys swimming. She's also a cheerleader. She takes part in band and loves to travel. Courtney's favorite food is sushi. And her favorite color 
is yellow. Her favorite movie, Harry Potter. I'm guessing all of them. Her favorite thing about Fostoria is that it's a small, close-knit community, and if she could be anyone in the world, Courtney would be Ellen DeGeneres, because she says her show is so fun, and she's always playing pranks on her guests, and she, of course, gives back to others. Thank you, Courtney. Our next contestant in the queen category, number 516, Mae Coppler. Mae is 16 years old and attends Arcadia Local Schools. In her spare time, she enjoys singing, playing piano, and acting. May's favorite foods are surf and turf. May's favorite color is pink. And her favorite movie or TV show, it's a movie, The Greatest Showman. May's favorite thing about Faustoria is helping out at the sharing kitchen. And if she could be anyone in the world, it would be Jackie Avancho because she was the one who inspired her to sing classical music. Thank you, May. And our final contestant tonight in the queen category, number 517, click Carolyn Hofacker. Carolyn is 17 years old and attends Arcadia High School. She is a member of the track team, likes to shop, hang out with her friends and family, and also help out in the community in her spare time. Her favorite food, filet mignon. And her favorite color is pink. Carolyn's favorite movie is Forrest Gump. And her favorite thing about Faustoria is the scenery at the reservoir. If she could be anyone in the world, she would be her sister because she travels all over Europe and is a strong, independent woman. Thank you, Carolyn. Okay, we can bring the queen contestants out. Escorted by your 2018 queen, Erica Kaufman. Now, Erica, I won't spoil your moment here that we're going to get to after intermission. It is a tradition here, but if you could just give one piece of advice to one of these ladies, what would it be? Be yourself. Be confident. Just show your true personality. Okay, so there you have it. We're going to hear much more about Erica's journey over this past year. She's going to reflect on all of that coming up after intermission. Ladies, your queen contestants, we will see the second part of their competition coming up right after this. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. So at this time, for everybody who might need to stretch the legs or give the littles a little lap around the building, we are going to take a brief 15-minute intermission. Snacks and water are available for just $1 in the hallway, and all the proceeds benefit the Glass Pageant Fund. Thank you. Okay, everyone, thank you. I hope that you grabbed a beverage, maybe a little snack, and we are ready to continue with the second portion of the pageant. Um, the second portion is for the Glass Princess contestants and those women who are competing to become the Fostoria Glass Queen. First, we would like to start with the Glass Princess. In years past, we've done a question that's been selected out of a bowl or a basket, and um, we are going to continue with the tradition this year of instead giving the princess contestants a minute to tell us just a little bit about themselves. We're going to start with contestant number 413, Belinda Burkett. 
So we introduced you to Belinda a little while ago, and um, you are someone who really enjoys science, and you said you do coding for fun. Is that right? Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> I was joking backstage, and I said, okay, so what's element number 12? I'm not expecting you to know. It's just a trick question. But in all reality, Belinda, if you could, please take a moment to explain why you want to be part of the Glass Princess Court and what it means to you. The reason why I would love to be on the Princess Glass Court is because I would love to be a role model to the young girls and encourage them and have them, have them accomplish their goals. And it means a lot to me because this way I can represent Fostoria and the things that I do. Well, Belinda, thank you so much. Everybody, Belinda Burkett. And our second and final Glass Princess contestant is number 414, Alicia Cardwell. Okay, so Alicia, I joked with you as well backstage saying that I'm going to need you to name the 39th president. I don't expect you to know that either. It's just a trick. Really, the reason what we want to do the question a little bit differently is that so that we can see your personality shine. So why did you sign up and say, I want to compete and I would love to be the Fostoria Glass Princess? I signed up to do the pageant because it builds confidence and I think this is a perfect opportunity to get more involved in my community. Thank you. Alicia Cardwell, thank you. So those are your Glass Princess contestants for this year. From there, we want to begin our Glass Queen speeches. We have three contestants who are competing to become the Faustoria Glass Queen. They are also competing for a $500 scholarship that can be used for higher education. We're going to start with our first contestant, number 515, Courtney Yarbrough. So Courtney, at this time, I'm going to hand you the microphone and you have the floor. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Courtney Yarbrough. I'm in the 11th grade at Hope Aloud in School. I'm involved in many activities. So much include band, cheerleading, Quiz Bowl, Yearbook, Spanish Club, and Students Against Destructive Decisions. I also compete on the Gary Family YMC swim team here in Fostoria. During the summer months, I volunteer at Mercy St. Vincent's Hospital. This summer, I was chosen to attend Buckeye Girls State at Bowling Green State University. After graduation, I plan on attending the University of Cincinnati, where I will continue my studies in the field of nursing. Fostoria is a small, close-knit community that comes together for its own. Many queens before have had fundraisers and have given back to our community. I would like to continue the fundraising tradition and giving back even more to our community. I believe I deserve to be queen because I'm motivated, trustworthy, and kind. I'm motivated to work with my fellow court and the mayor in giving back to our community. I'm trustworthy because I say what I'm going to do. And I'm kind because I care about other people's feelings and believe in doing what is right, even when nobody is watching. Thank you. Courtney Yarbrough, thank you. Our next contestant in the queen category competing for the title of Fostoria Glass Queen is number 516, Mae Coppler. Here you go, May. You have the floor. Good evening. My name is May Coppler. I'm a junior at Arcadia, and I lived in Fostoria when I moved here at age five. Besides my mom and dad, I live with my 13-year-old brother, Donald. They're very kind and supporting, and I love them so much. What I love about Fostoria is that how friendly most of the people are, and especially the ones at my church. During the summer, I would like to work with them and help at the sharing kitchen, and they're just so nice. Those of you who know, I love and have a passion for singing. My passion for singing is when I first saw Jackie Ivanko on America's Got Talent. She inspired me to begin singing at church and charity events when I was just eight. 
Mostly, I like to perform a lot. And when I was, <laughs> when I was, When I was in a previous pageant, I was introduced to the Wounded Warrior softball team, and I was able to sing the national anthem for them, and it was just such a great honor, and like five times with three different states. And hopefully, I would like to serve this community and help, and especially I love the veterans. I love to go for the honor flight with traveling with them, and then be able to sing the national anthem and many monuments. So thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, May Coppler. And our final contestant in the queen category tonight is number 517, Carolyn Hofacker. Carolyn, please tell us why you would like to be queen. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Carolyn Hofacker. I'm currently a junior at Arcadia High School. As a former student from St. Wendelin High School system, I have made many friendships and memories, such as doing Project Moore at Fostoria Elementary School. Project Moore is where I would go and read with children and help them read fluently. It has always been a passion of mine to help children be the best potential that they can be. And doing Project Moore has really showed me that I want to help people and make them the best that they can be. Now that I go to Arcadia High School, we do Arcadia Cares Day. Arcadia Cares Day is where the whole school day consists of community service work. Last year, I helped out at the Hope House. The Hope House was originally a nun's convent, and when all the nuns passed away, they left the building to single women with children so that they could have a goal to getting better than they were. <laughs> for my extracurriculars, I'm a varsity track and field runner for both indoor and outdoor. I help out at my school by doing the, the Veterans Committee, where we help thank the veterans for their service and what they do, and we throw a lunch for them. And for any veterans out there, I would like to say thank you for your dedication, your time, and your service to our country. At the beginning of the school year, I worked two part-time jobs at the Independence House and at Dairy Queen as one of the managers. For my senior year next year, I have already signed up for college classes so that I can get a head start because my plan is to go to medical school and ultimately have a career in the medical field. When I was a little girl, I always looked up to the pageant girls who won as role, mo role models because they were dedicated to their community and helped out a lot. I see myself as a hard worker, and I know that I could be a good role model to little girls because I would love to make them feel beautiful because everybody is, and they all have their own special things about them. And if I was to be the 2019 Glass Queen, I know that I could fulfill all the duties and be a great representation of what Fostoria should be. And I would like to thank Mayor Eric Keckler Andrea and Amanda Williams for helping out this pageant because without you the pageant wouldn't even be a thing So thank you and thank you to everybody who came out tonight Thank you Carolyn Hofacker So it has been a very memorable year I'm guessing for your current queen who will be passing on those reins and handing them over tonight. So at this time, if we could give one big round of applause as your 2018 Faustoria Glass Queen, Erica Kaufman, takes her last walk. One more round of applause for Erica. 
And at this time, I'm going to give her the microphone. If you could give her your attention, she is going to reflect on the past year. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. I'm so excited to be here. Um, I'd like to start out by thanking a few people. Our lovely mayor, Eric Keckler, um, Deb Hellman, Andrea Cole, Shelley Paul, the judges, and of course everyone out here in the crowd. Without all of you, this really wouldn't be possible. But most of all, I'd like to thank my parents, Stephen Heidi Kaufman. Without their love and support, I wouldn't have been able to pull off all the things that we did over the past year. So thank you. For the longest time, my only goal in life has been to help others any way I could, and being class queen, glass queen helped me do just that. Not only did it give me more opportunities for community service and more ways to just get out and be more involved in my community, but it also helped me be able to represent the great city of Fostoria in a positive way throughout the year. My favorite part of being the glass queen is getting the chance to meet so many more people in our community and making connections and memories with them, especially the little girls. I know when I was younger, I looked up to the previous glass queens and what they were doing for our community. And I realized as I grew older, I want to do just that, and I did. And I hope that I made the impact on other little girls throughout this past year that they made on me. Now, I know both you and I are very excited and eager to find out who will be on the 2019 glass court. So thank you all for coming out tonight. Good luck to the girls that will be on the court on their next year. And I hope you all have safe travels home. And I really do want world peace. Thank you. Thank you so much, Erica. Your 2018 glass queen. Okay, so from there, now that we have the competition portion all complete, we are going to move on with crowning if everyone's ready. Judges, are we ready? Okay, perfect. And while we get all of the little ones out on stage, of course, we start with our little friends who have bedtimes. I know that it's the middle of the week, so we got to get things moving. Trust me, I have a two and a half year old. I know how this works. You've snacked them and now you hopefully got to throw them in bed. So we would like to bring out all of the Wee Glass Princess contestants. And while they make their way to the stage, I would like to just introduce you to our judges. There are three judges that are volunteering their time tonight right in the center here. Um, they've collaborated and come up with who will be the Fostoria Glass Court. So we have Ashley Cambers, is that correct? Okay. Um, graduated the University of Michigan, where she focused on performance and cultural studies. Ashley, give everyone a wave, please, if you could. Ashley is a commercial actor and a model and can be seen in ads for Cox Cable and Owens Corning. This past summer, she directed Madagascar Jr. for the Perrysburg Youth Summer Theater and early this year directed The Grunch for Perrysburg Musical Theater. Ashley is a proud to be Miss Ohio United States 2019 and to be representing Ohio at the United States pageants this summer in Las Vegas. Then we have Morgan Liskey. You might say, hmm, that name sounds familiar. She's a graduate of Fostoria High School, was the 2012 Glass Princess and 2014 Glass Queen, as it has enjoyed helping with pageants ever since. She attends Terra State Community College in Fremont and is majoring in phlebotomy. She works at Kohl's and is an independent beauty consultant with Mary Kay. And in her spare time, in addition to giving back, she enjoys spending time with her loved ones. So Morgan, thank you for being here tonight. And finally, Cami Gooding is a Fostoria native and Fostoria High School grad as well. She was the very first Glass Heritage Queen in 1993. No stranger to the pageant world, Cami was honored to win the prestigious title of Mrs. Ohio in 2003 and went on to place fourth at the international competition. Her most coveted title, however, is Mom to four wonderful young men. Cami Kurt resides in Sycamore, Ohio and is a human resources consultant for UIS insurance and investment. So, Cammie, thank you for being here tonight as well. Okay, well, I just bought the little ones some extra time, so hopefully you took your photos because they're just so darn cute. Okay. I was wondering. I didn't have any results, so, you know, it's stalling. Okay. Um, so... Our we glass princess for this year is Kensington Cook. Can 
congratulations, Kensington, receiving her official sash. Make sure you keep that around, Mom and Dad, or whoever's here with Kensington tonight. A special moment for your 2019 We Glass Princess Kensington. Congratulations. And a big congratulations to all of our little ladies. We hope to see you again next year. Thank you so much, girls. I mean, they're so cute, right? Great job, girls. And did you see that they clapped for her? They did. That's the way that it should be. Okay, our next category is the Little Glass Princess category. We are going to bring out the contestants. All right, right there's good girls. Awesome. Okay, and your 2019 Little Glass Princess is Bailey Vogel. A special moment as last year's Little Glass Princess, Linity Harold, passes on the sash and passes on the crown. Thank you so much to both girls. Great job. Thank you, ladies. Our next category is the Petite Glass Princess contestants. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, your petite glass princess for 2019, Marisol Cooper. A big thank you to all of the contestants and congratulations, Marisol. Thank you so much, ladies. I think she was stunned. And just a quick announcement, if you are a parent of a tiny person that needs to get some rest, if they are a winner and are a member of the 2019 court, if you could just spare a few more moments at the end for some official court photos, that would be much appreciated. Okay, next up, your Glass Princess contestants. Both of these ladies will be going far. Thank you both so much for giving your time tonight. Your 2019 Fostoria Glass Princess is Alicia Cardwell. Congratulations and thank you. 
The bouquet arrangements for the winners were donated by Flowerland in Fostoria, so thank you to Flowerland. And the rest of our sponsors tonight, First Federal Bank, Riverside Glass, Trends on Main, Faustoria City Schools, Andrea Kress, Sarah Wonderly, Shelley Paul, Andrea Cole, and of course, Mayor Eric Keckler. All right, now the moment that you've all been waiting for, if we could bring, bring out our three contestants for the Faustoria Glass Queen. In this category, we will be giving out two awards. The first award is the runner up, a winner of a $100 gift card, Carolyn Hofacker. And from there, at the moment you've all been waiting for, in addition to becoming the Faustoria Glass Queen and representing the city and also leading all of her other fellow winners below her, the Queen also receives the 6th Annual Leah Hipscher Scholarship Fund. This year, we're very proud to present that award for the 6th time, First Federal Bank's Leah Hipscher Scholarship Fund. That scholarship is $500, and it goes to the newly crowned Glass Queen to use toward college expenses. Leah Hepsher has been dedicated, active, and well-known in the Faustoria community for decades. In addition to numerous other organizations and clubs, she has been involved in the glass pageant since the very beginning, more than two decades ago. So the establishment of this scholarship is a way to say thank you and inspire our youth. So thank you to Leah. We'd also like to express a heartfelt thank you to First Federal Bank for donating that $500 for the sixth year in a row to allow us to continue to provide that money that could pay for continued education. All right, so now ladies, the moment that you've all been waiting for, your 2019 Faustoria Glass Pageant Queen is Courtney Yarbrough. Congratulations, Courtney, and thank you to all of the women and all of the parents and grandparents, neighbors and friends who might be here supporting tonight. We thank you all for coming, in, coming out and supporting all of these young women and leaders. Thank you once again for having me here in Faustoria, and if you have a member in the court for 2019, remember, hang tight. And here's the big check. How could I forget that? Courtney, we'll make sure that we get you one that you can actually put somewhere. That one's a little large, but don't worry. We can vouch for the money. It's real. Andrea, thank you so much. Have a great night. Thank you, everybody, for coming.